Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. You might want to use Wine if you need to run a Microsoft application to access some files that you've prepared on another machine that runs Windows. Or you just might want to play an old game. Either way, sometimes Wine is the only thing that you can use. What we need to do first is we need to install the 386 32-bit um, version of Wine. Wine Develop is the um, latest version, so it's more up-to-date and uh, likely to be more compatible. So we'll just uh, we'll load that in. I'll fast-forward this so it's not taking too long. For some reason, my machine was running really slow on this. We'll just get nearly finished. We'll keep going to the end. Yeah, it's nearly done. Then of course we also need to then install Wine Tricks itself, which is fairly easy. I mean, you have a, a binary available uh, for FreeBSD. You could use ports, of course, but the binary one is uh, is quicker to install and a little bit out of date, as you'll find out next. Right, we'll just clear the screen. And then we'll actually start up Wine Tricks to test whether it works. Yep, it's a little bit slow. A few garbled messages out there. Sorry, that's better. Yeah, it's telling me that the the Wine Tricks that's been installed is a little bit out of date. It's not too bad. It really shouldn't affect the performance. But if you want to uh, get the latest one, then you just have to um, tell Wine Tricks to self-update. And that's it's a bit bizarre, but that's that's how he does it. So let's clear and yeah, wine tricks, self update. So you need to be root to do it, of course. We'll try that. Ah, I know what I've done. I need to just put a space and then just double that. Yeah, there we go. It's all installed. Just exit out of it. Try it again. Yeah, now we've got a more up to date version. And once Wine Tricks is installed, then you can do the usual things. You can uh, tweak it to the heart's desire. And install components, etc., as you normally can in Wine Tricks. Right, we'll just have a quick look around at the uh, Wine config, just to show that Wine is up and running all right. Unusual. Let's click for these tabs. Uh, scan for the drives. Add, to, add the local system drives to the uh, to the wine config. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. But you know, if you want to add something, you do know that you don't need to. If you want to add something to uh, wine, you can use wine config, but without using the the GUI, you can just add the uh, a command switch to it. And as long as you know what you're wanting to add, you can just add it to the command line, and it'll it'll just add it automatically. So in this case, uh, DirectX component, and it's downloading it. And you can do this without starting up the GUI. That's if you want to. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's fairly easy on FreeBSD to install Wine and Wine Tricks. And uh, thanks for watching.